What is up there everybody, it's Casper Trader back here with another video today and I'm going to be doing some live trading right here for you guys and, but before I get into it, um, i really appreciate it if you guys could give this video a like and please subscribe it really helps my channel out a lot Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll get straight into it and not waste your time So, first of all, the first thing I wanted to do was um, I want to sell off my UWT because I bought in thinking that I was going to break its previous pattern and like go through the roof but it decided to um, just consolidate where it usually does because uh, I thought it broke the resistance but it didn't and I thought I was going to just go up until like I don't know just break the pattern as you can see here it usually broke where it usually stops as you can see but this time it went a lot higher um, and I thought I was going to keep going up but I looked at the charts again on more detailed charts and it's, it looks like it's going to fall so I'm going to sell this share I wanted to do a little quick day trade or something just to spice up my trading, you know? Um, so I'm going to sell at 14.5. 8 cent profit. It's perfectly fine. Just trying to get some experience in here. Alright, let's see if it took the order and it sold. Mm, you probably didn't sell, didn't you? Alright, yep. The stock falls 2 cents right when I sell. Great. So it's probably going to bounce back up to that price. So I'm just going to keep the order there. And second stock that I was going to talk about today is TQQQ. Um, right now it went up a, a lot, like a lot. And I was thinking, I bought it in around this area, um, on Monday is this, was this Monday or yesterday? I don't remember, but, um, I remember it was in this hole and it, whenever it usually falls down to that area, I'm sorry, um, right here, whenever it falls down to this area, then it usually goes back up to around $45 or $44, $45 or $45. So I saw it go down to that area and start going up slightly. I think it was right here. So I bought in a few shares and just gapped up overnight and uh, pre-market after market hours. It gapped up all the way to around 43.30. And now it's going up like crazy up to like $44 almost. And I'm planning to hold them um, until I get, at, I don't know, 44 and a half. I feel like it still has um, room to run. So... I'm just going to be patient and hold it until it starts to get like the 44 and a half, maybe even $45 area. Um, but if I see it start to downtrend, then I'll just take my profits and leave it. Um, second thing, this free stock that I got from Robinhood, they released their earnings and um, I'm not sure yet. Are they releasing it later? No, no, they released it and they matched their earnings and their stock is up 3%, which is fantastic. Um, this pattern is more of a horizontal if you look at the three month, but it's not very predictable because it just released its earnings and it kind of broke it because I thought it was going to continue downtrend until it hit around 15, I mean $5.50, but it didn't and it just went up. So I'm going to sell this whenever I can. I'm pretty sure I have to wait three days once I get it. So let me see if I can sell it right now. Um, what's the price at right now? Mm, yeah, that's a good price. So I'm just going to sell it at market, but always I always set a limit because I feel like um, whenever I do a market, then it always sells it for a higher price than it actually is. I mean, for a lower price, so I get more less money um, for my trade. All right, let's see if this order goes through. Oh, wow, did it actually? I thought I had to wait three days when I got the stock. I mean, technically, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. I mean, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so that's three days, I guess. Technically. So... That's basically it for um, today's video right now. I might add some more to the, uh, post another video uh, later today, just covering all of my profits and everything that happened throughout this day and comparing with my chart that says how much money I need to make to get to that $1 million, like how much I have to make consistently. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.